You've been told probably about a million times that you have to pick a side, build muscle or lose fat. The fitness world has drilled into us that these two goals are mortal enemies. One requires a mountain of food to grow new muscle. The other demands a calorie drought, forcing your body to burn its own fat for fuel. So you get stuck on a frustrating hamster wheel. You bulk up, gain muscle, but also a nice cushy layer of fat. Then you cut, lose the fat, but say goodbye to some of that muscle you work so hard for. It's the classic two steps forward, one step back routine. Sound familiar? But what if that's not the whole story? What if there's a scientific loophole, a backdoor entrance that lets you do both at the same time? We've seen it happen, and I'm going to show you how to use the science of nutrient partitioning to basically command your body to build muscle while it's torching fat. This isn't some fitness fairy tale. It's a real physiological process called body recomposition, and it's backed by a ton of solid science. The impossible problem and the scientific solution. So here's the deal. The core of the problem is that muscle and fat are completely different things. You can't magically turn your love handles into biceps. Fat loss is your body breaking down fat for energy. Muscle gain is your body repairing and beefing up muscle fibers after you've put it through the ringer. They're triggered by completely opposite energy signals. So how do we solve this puzzle? The secret is a concept called nutrient partitioning. Think of your body as a construction site and the calories you eat as paychecks. Resistance training is the foreman yelling, we need more muscle over here. Nutrient partitioning is the accounting department that decides where the money goes. Does it go to the muscle building project or does it get squirreled away in the fat storage savings account? Our goal is to pull a fast one on your body's bean counters. We want to trick them into sending all the good stuff, protein and carbs, straight to the muscle project while forcing your body to raid its fat storage account to pay for its daily energy bills. For years, everyone thought this was only possible for total beginners or people coming back after a long hiatus. And yeah, they see the most dramatic results, but new research is showing that even seasoned lifters can get in on this. The key is to create a massive muscle building signal while being incredibly smart and strategic with your nutrition. Step one, the non-negotiable signal, intense resistance training. This entire operation kicks off with one thing you absolutely cannot skip, intense progressive resistance training. You can't just politely ask your body to build muscle, you have to scream at it. Lifting weights does way more than just damage muscle fibers. Science has uncovered something wild. When you train hard, your muscles start acting like their own little command center, shooting out tiny messenger particles called extracellular vesicles. Think of these like text messages your muscles send directly to your fat cells. Groundbreaking studies have found these vesicles carry genetic instructions that tell your fat cells to start breaking down. Your biceps are literally sliding into your fat cells' DMs and telling them to burn themselves for energy. This is a direct line of communication, a crosstalk that lets your muscles boss your fat around. And the party doesn't stop when you leave the gym. This kind of training builds more metabolically active muscle, which means your body burns more calories 24-7 just sitting around. Plus, you get the afterburn effect, or EPOC, where your body keeps burning calories at a higher rate for hours after your workout to repair all that muscle you just worked. But none of this happens without progressive overload. You have to constantly give your muscles a reason to grow by lifting heavier, doing more reps, or taking shorter breaks. This is the signal that shouts, we're under attack, adapt or die. Without that powerful, consistent signal, there's no foreman on the job site, and this whole plan falls apart. Step two, the calorie sweet spot and the protein mandate. Once you sent the signal, you need to deliver the right materials. This is where most people get it wrong. You don't need a massive calorie surplus, that just leads to more fat. But you also can't go into an extreme calorie deficit because that kills muscle growth. You have to find the sweet spot. For body recomposition, this is a small, controlled calorie deficit, usually around 300 to 500 calories below your maintenance level. This is just enough of an energy gap to gently nudge your body into using its fat reserves for fuel, but not so severe that it panics and starts eating your muscle. And the most critical, non-negotiable VIP material is protein. 
high protein intake is the undisputed king of body recomposition. In a calorie deficit, your body gets sneaky and might try to turn protein into energy. To stop this thievery and make sure that protein goes to your muscles, you just have to eat more of it. Research has shown time and time again that high-protein diets are incredibly good at preserving and even building muscle while you're losing fat. One major study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that a group eating 2.4 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight while in a deficit and training hard gained more muscle and lost more fat than a group eating half that amount. A solid, science-backed target is about 1 gram per pound, or 2.2 grams per kilogram of your goal body weight. It keeps you full, provides the building blocks for muscle, and even burns more calories just through digestion. Step 3. Directing the flow, nutrient timing, and lifestyle optimization. With the training signal sent and the protein delivered, the final step is to play traffic cop. We need to fine-tune the delivery system with nutrient timing and lifestyle hacks. The goal is to make your muscles extra thirsty for nutrients right when they need them most. After a tough workout, your muscles are incredibly sensitive to insulin, a storage hormone. This is your golden opportunity. By eating a meal with both protein and carbs post-workout, you can use that insulin spike to drive amino acids and glucose straight into your hungry muscle cells for repair and refueling, instead of letting them wander off to fat storage. A common strategy is to aim for a mix of carbs and protein. And while a 2 to 1 ratio is a popular starting point, the most important thing is simply getting that protein and carb combination in after your session. But all the perfectly timed meals in the world won't help if you're not sleeping. Sleep is the master regulator. It's when your body releases a flood of human growth hormone, which is critical for both muscle repair and fat burning. One study showed this perfectly. Two groups were on the same diet, but one group got 8.5 hours of sleep while the other got only 5.5. Both groups lost the same amount of weight. Here's the kicker. The sleep-deprived group lost 60% more muscle while the well-rested group lost more fat. Bad sleep turns your body into a muscle-munching, fat-hoarding gremlin. Aim for seven to nine hours of quality sleep per night. It's just as important as your reps and your protein shakes. So there you have it, the three-step cheat code to building muscle and losing fat at the same time. First, command your muscles to grow with hard, progressive resistance training. This is the signal that starts the whole conversation between your muscles and your fat. Second, fuel the process by hitting that calorie sweet spot a small deficit, and making a high-protein diet your new religion. And third, direct the nutrients by using your post-workout meal strategically and making sleep your number one priority for recovery. Building muscle while losing fat isn't a myth, it's a science. It just demands a smarter approach, one that's about sending the right signals, delivering the right materials, and creating the perfect environment for your body to do something amazing. You don't have to pick a side. With this strategy, you can finally have it both ways.